Do you like fairy tale retellings? I do and I don't. Sometimes they're hit or miss. If they're not changed enough, sometimes I feel like it's almost cheating with the story if it's too similar to the original. Today we're going to talk about a fairy tale retelling. And this one's kind of a mix of, I would say, two, possibly three different fairy tales. And that book is After the Forest by Kel Woods. This is one I randomly picked up. I liked the cover. I thought it was really pretty. And so I picked it up, read the synopsis and said, hey, this sounds pretty good. So it follows the main character, Greta Rosenthal and her brother's name is Hans. You may notice these names right off the bat, Hansel and Gretel. You know, the story about the gingerbread house in the woods and the fabled witch, and those are the two that this story follows. And yes, they did when they were younger, seem to have been abandoned by their father in the woods and they found this gingerbread house and they were gonna go eat it and this witch captured them. Greta doesn't really remember how they escaped, but she imagines that she's pretty sure she pushed that old witch into an oven. Not 100% sure, because she doesn't remember that actually happening. Just that they somehow, at the end, escaped with their lives, because the witch was going to eat them. So you're in present day now, as they've grown up, and she's in her early 20s. I want to say she's like 22. And they live in this house, kind of outside of town, Hans, he has a bunch of gambling debt and owes money all over town. They may be losing their house because of all the money that he owes that he's taken out. And Greta, she has always supported them and sold her gingerbread, which is legendary, to keep them afloat so that they don't lose it and don't so they have a home or somewhere to live. She finds out they're in this situation and she's pretty pissed off at her brother. And so she's just gonna, you know, try to bake her way out of it and see what happens. Well, the story, when it comes in in the beginning, she's out in the woods and she's climbing up this tree to go get some honey. All of a sudden she gets like super dizzy. Stuff feels all weird and she falls out of this tree. All of a sudden there's a bear there. <laughs> she's like, oh, F. I gotta get out of here. And it's weird because there's been like no bears in the woods in, I don't know, like a hundred years and bear snuffles over and like licks her hand because there's honey on there. And she's like, oh my God. And she says this weird thing about having the forest protector that her mother had taught her when she was younger. She opens her eyes and the bear has gone and then she books it to get out of Dodge. And the townsfolk always kind of like, they kind of think that Greta's like a witch because of some weird stuff that happened when she was younger and then also with the whole gingerbread house witch debacle and, and that and her mother died when she was younger and then her father passed and he had had this other woman that he remarried that was their stepmom and she was kind of horrible. Greta remembers when her mother was found and it was very horrible. Like she was killed by wolves. There was like a red apple in her hand. Now this red apple will come back into play in this book. And this is where it's almost like a, who is the fairest of them all? And it's almost like a Snow White crossover. So it's like this book, you have a little bit of Snow White, a little bit of Hansel and Gretel, and then almost like Peter and the wolves. Cause her father's name was Peter. All of these threads tie into a very interesting story and at each head of the chapter you have like these little paragraphs and it kind of tells the tale of these two sisters and what happened to them and it tells of their beauty and how one seemed to be inherently good and the other was very conniving and uh, manipulative and not the best of people. And it tells the story of them and what happened you get into that. I'm trying to somehow tie this all together to give a good <laughs> picture of this book. It's hard. It's like, there's a lot going on in it. So we got the gambling debt. Greta's going to try to bake enough gingerbread to pay it off. And where does she learn how to bake all this gingerbread? Well, she learned when she was trapped by that horrible witch in the gingerbread house. And when she left there, she stole the witch's grimoire and took it with her, which she still to this day uses. This may come back to bite her because the townsfolk are kind of like the Puritan people and like witch trials have still happened 
in more recent times, there's possibility eventually they're going to accuse her of being a witch. So you have that going on too. Also, what happens with these, when the wolves and the bear and these creatures return to the woods and mysterious things start happening, and then the baron who ruled over the town, he passes away and his new beautiful wife starts to require a higher tax paid. And if the people can't pay it, they can go and pay a blood tithe and work off their debt. Although these people start disappearing and all this effed up stuff starts happening. And then things happen that shouldn't in certain times of year, like big blizzards come in and like witchy things start happening and the people start blaming Greta. Wow, this is not good. And so at some point she needs to figure out how to pay off this debt, not be accused of being a witch, and along the way, she meets a transient hunter slash traveler that may be of love interest named Matthias. Or Matthias? I never know how to pronounce his name. It's probably Matthias. And it's a crazy story. So it is fantasy, romance, witchy, fairy tale all into one. And it worked really well and it was told really well. I enjoyed the story. I enjoyed my time in it. I kept me up late at night reading it because after a certain point, at first it was a little slow. And then once I hit pace, oh man, I couldn't stop reading it. It was great. I really enjoyed it. If you like fantasy and fairy tale retellings, this one was a winner for me. I thought the way they retold it was great, and I liked that it was mixed with other ones because that made it just all the more fun, in my opinion. So, After the Forest by Cal Woods. Fantastic read. I would highly recommend it. If you're a fan of fairy tale retellings and looking for another really good one, the next video coming up will be about Thornhenge by T. King Fisher. That's also a fairy tale retelling, Sleeping Beauty. Awesome. Check it out. And if you had fun hanging out today, hit that subscribe button, come back, see me again, and we'll talk about more bookish things and weird stuff.